Hi, it's been a little while. Um, okay, so I'm back. Uh, I'm in my new studio, as you can see. I've got no hair products in here, so I've had to slick my hair back using Tom Ford Hyaluronic Energy Mist, which has sort of left it looking quite greasy. Um, so that's good. I wanted to do a kind of messy, smoky eye, so I'm gonna do it without any eyeshadow brushes or as few as I possibly can. Um, because sometimes you just want things a little bit messy, like it works better, maybe you've got like a really kind of, maybe you've got like a really prissy or um, very conservative black dress or something like that and you just wanna make it a little bit more interesting. And so a way to do that is to have like really undone makeup. So um, that's what we're gonna do. We are gonna start off by doing um, quite a neat and tidy base. So I have chosen, oh, first of all, I put on the Herbor Herb Herborean Pink Perfect Cream. Uh, Blur Secret Glow Skin Refining. I didn't film it because there's really nothing to see. I put it on with my fingers. Now I'm using the Vital Skin Foundation Stick from Westman Atelier, and the color I am is a two. So if you feel like you struggle to blend a stick foundation and it looks cakey, then a really good way to deal with it is to use um, like a fixed spray or a, or a moisture, moisture mist. This one is the same one I used on my hair, which is the Tom Ford Hyaluronic Energy Mist, but you could use MAC Fix Plus, you could use one of your setting sprays. It's basically anything that is, um, that's a spray really. So spray that on. Then you can take your brush and it will just give you enough slip to make sure it doesn't go on cakey. So I really love a stick foundation, but I wouldn't like to use a stick foundation without like a pretty moisturizing moisturizer underneath. And sometimes I still find that I need to spritz to work it in. Also, it's another great thing that you can just you can just chuck a product like this in your handbag. They make them in small sizes, and then you can uh, respritz later on in the day and reblend so that you've got nice tidy base. So if you're going out after work, or if you if you find that your base just looks a bit tired later on in the day, you can just tidy it up. I always find that it's better to use a brush to actually apply this product. But we're going to try to not really use many, maybe just one um, on the eyes. And that isn't really out of laziness, it's really just more about the finish. Sometimes you can just make things a little bit too over blended and a little bit too neat with a brush. And fingers can leave kind of like a raw, a raw energy to your makeup. So I'm going to stop here, we can come back and we can tidy up in a bit. I'm working with pretty dark colours, so there could be some fallout as I'm using my fingers. So we'll stop once the base is on, we can come back, we can conceal and stuff later. Okay, first things first, I'm going to take a coal pencil. I got one out and I've immediately lost it. There it is. Um, I'm using Power Surge, which is one of my all-time favourite products from MAC. Um, and I'm just going to use the side of the pencil just to draw that on all the way across the lid. I'm right on a road, so you can probably hear like the dull hum of traffic. You'll really hear it when a, when a motorbike goes past. But I sort of don't think you'll mind because if you've been here since three o'clock dog years, then you'll know we always have background noise. Okay, so I'm just using a finger, my middle finger, just to gently work that in. Even if it doesn't look like I'm being gentle, I am being gentle. The reason I'm not using the tip of the pencil is because you find that it, it goes on less even and it goes on more patchy in places, so it will be thicker in places. So you see this, this is me not concentrating and that will be using the tip. So you wouldn't be able to get it really nice and soft and the very thin layer that I've managed to get on there 
if you use the tip. And the thicker the layer, the more your eyeshadow is gonna crease. Not that that is a problem with this particular look. It's totally fine, it's pretty cool. But um, in general, I try and avoid it a bit. So what I love about Power Surge, this is a kind of, it's a bronzy off gold, I suppose. Like a dirty gold. And I love it because it's, looks good on all skin tones, firstly. Um, obviously it's gonna look much more metallic and more gold the darker your skin is. On me, it's sort of like a grayish gold. One of the other things I love about it is that it looks, oh, I just drew that on my skirt. See, I'm not concentrating. Uh, one of the other things that I really love about it is that it looks really good on its own, but also it blends really nicely. Eyeshadow blends lovely over the top of it. I've just got some of that pencil on my skirt, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of brush cleaner to get it off, so give me a second. Again, using that middle finger just to blend that in. Right, I have this very old MAC palette. It was a collaboration between Kabuki and MAC. Um, I'm really keen on using the stuff I have. Sometimes I'll mix in new stuff, but um, I think we've all got colors like this somewhere. So I'm gonna start with this one here, which is quite a taupe color. Work it on the mobile lid. So the bit that moves when you blink. We're going along the lash line, so as close to the lashes as you can. And you see, this here is the reason that we haven't completely done our face yet. Because I'm making a mess. And keep working it on and applying it with your finger. So I'm putting it on the very pad of my finger. Can you see? And then I'm using the edge of my finger here to blend it upwards. Can you see that? Have a go on yourself and you'll feel it. It's hard to show. And then if you feel like you need an extra blend, you can just use a clean finger. I feel like people are always a little bit less inclined to do makeup looks like this as they sort of head into their 40s. But it's all about balance, you know? So you don't wanna try and make it too neat. A bit neat, but not too neat. The neatness will come from the skin, the lips, the cheeks, not the eyes. Okay, now I'm gonna clean my finger. And we're gonna use the same finger, but with less spread. We're gonna use the same color, but we're just going to use it very, very lightly just on the very tip so that we can get under the eye rather than making a real smudgy mess with what was left on there. So backwards, across, and the other way. And don't forget, we've put no concealer under the eyes yet. So um, there's still plenty of time to maneuver how this makeup looks. Now, if you feel like you need a bit of definition along the lash line, what we're gonna do is take a bit of a black, just a little, and look right down into a mirror. And then outside edge, you can feel the edge of your lashes. You're gonna run a little bit there. Right, let's go back to our Power Surge pencil and we will go in the waterline and then lastly, I'm gonna take this lightest one here, which would be the equivalent of Omega or a color like that. And I'm working that in. Right up to the brow. I might have to just tidy my brows up as well after this. Okay, right, let's go back to the skin. We'll make the skin completely neat before we put mascara on. Let's start by taking out any little blemishes. So just spend some time making sure you get the base as neat as you can. It's 
So while you can get away with the sort of messy skin and messy eyes in your 20s, it's a little bit more tricky to carry off without looking knackered in your 40s. Actually, I think knackered is really probably not the right word. Uh, does knackered mean, is knackered, does that come from like when horses go to the knackers yard? So I think it's an old English saying from when horses are, they go to, basically they go to death, I think, because they're old. So actually it's a pretty horrible saying. Tired would be the correct. Tired is what I meant. I mean, like, you look a little bit tired at an event, you carry on living your life. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't really matter that much. The best part about going to an event is getting ready for the event. <laughs> for me, it is, anyway. Okay, right, let's do... We've got to tidy up the brows, because I made a little mess of those when I was doing the eyes and um, we've got to tidy up the under eyes now. I don't want to go too much with taking out the eyeshadow so I'm going to start pretty low with the concealer and work up. Woods. So we're really low. I'm going too high up or you just ruin all of that lovely kind of messiness that you've created. I wonder how long that will stay there for. Will it scar forever? So I don't want to take it up too far because this is nice, you know. I think. <laughs> Let's be honest, anyone that's stuck with me this far also thinks it's nice. All the others have kind of gone long ago. I've just realised that I've worn stripes, made it very Tim Burton. It wasn't, I didn't think it through. That was not the plan. It works though. I'm here for it. Oh, I didn't say. I'm using the Beauty Pie um, Super Luminous. Just here, a little bit in the crease. Hardly any. It's just a brightener. It'll brighten the cheekbones. Okay, right, let me just tidy my brows up a little. I've got my NYX. Not going over the top with the brows. I need them kind of to look as natural as I can. And that's not easy for me because it's not natural. Right, I'm going to use the Surat Releve because it's kind of matte. So this is the kind of makeup where if you wanted to do like a big clumpy mascara look, you could totally get away with it. If you wanted to go like super Courtney Love grunge, this is gonna work. However, I'm just gonna put a light coat on and uh, keep it quite refined because remember I'm thinking about wearing it with a very formal dress, a very boring formal dress. Brushing them through and positioning them where I want them to be. Do you ever do that? Sometimes I like my eyelashes kind of up, sometimes I like them out. Now for me personally, I'm not a big fan of mascara on my bottom lashes. I never have been. 
it's just irritating for me because it's a thing that my eye, my bottom eyelashes are very long. I always think it looks ridiculous. I just prefer the look without. But if you want to put them on the bottom lashes, it's your thing. This will work perfectly for that. Okay, this is where you want to make a decision. Do you want to go for quite a kind of contoured, structured nude lip? Or do you want to go for no cheek at all and do a red lip? You can do either. It's going to work really well. If you are going to do a red lip, definitely leave mascara off the bottom lashes. It might make the balance a little bit too much. Um, I'll put a red on just so you can see and then I'll finish with a nude which would be my preference. Okay red. This is a stupidly expensive red that I bought from Selfridges yesterday. It's Dries Van Notten. I didn't even know that um, they had lipsticks. It's obviously refillable, um, but I couldn't help myself. It's so pretty. Anyway, crack on. The guy, the guy in Selfridges was trying so hard to sell it to me, telling me what colour I should wear, what would look good on me or whatever. And I just didn't have the heart to say that I'm a makeup artist. It had gone too far, do you know what I mean? I was like, oh my God, he's gonna feel really stupid. So I just was like, I just played really dumb. <laughs> oh, he was so lovely. I don't want to embarrass him, you know? I'm just using the Shiseido. Um, Poppy, the colour is Poppy. This is their um, lip ink duo. It's got the primer as well. But because I pushed that on with my fingers, I just like to neaten up the corners. But not do the lip liner the whole way around because that sort of defeats the purpose. Also, I try to run a little bit of my concealer along just to take out any real messiness because messy is here. This is messy. And then just before I powder, I like to take a little bit more of my beauty pie and just pop it just in those deep creases. So it's quite separated from the eyeshadow just to give a little lift before eye powder because sometimes powder flattens things doesn't it I mean it always flattens things but uh, it can make you look darker under your eyes this is a problem with having a brush here you try to over over perfect things did you see me do that there and I had to pull myself away from it okay so powder so this just arrived this morning let me open it this is the Jones Road tinted powders they have a pink, a yellow, an untinted, and then they have the normal colour ones. This one is pink, and I do like a pink. How do you open it though? Is there some. I can't get to the bit underneath. Well, that's a design fault, isn't it? What's going on here? How are you meant to get to that bit underneath? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. It's just how all of all powders work. Just ignore me. I'm being an absolute dipshit. Honestly, guys, I didn't sleep very well last night. That's what I'm going to put it down to. <laughs> um, feel a bit stupid. Okay. So let's pop a little bit of the pink on. how I'd wear it with a red lip I wouldn't do anything on the cheek I wouldn't put any contour there I wouldn't put any highlight there I would keep it completely plain because there is a lot going on here and then here so the balance I feel is correct on that now we can take the lip off and we'll do a different lip so after the concealer on goes this 
This is a NYX pencil, Line Loud lip pencil. The colour is Daring Damsel. This is the second of only two products that I bought yesterday in Selfridges. And this is Nude Sticks in the Nude. This has a little thing on the end, so I can just use that rather than getting another brush. I'm also going to use a bit of this on the lip. And we're going to use a pencil, this is Jones Road, to accentuate our lip line because obviously we don't have any depth there now. I do feel that with the nude lip you can totally get away with mascara on the bottom lash. That's not mascara though, so we won't do that. Um, so I'll pop a little on the bottom, bottom lashes, but only a small bit. What should I do with it? And there you go. I think that is it. Um, if you've got any questions, you can leave them below this video. I will write all of the products that I've used in the description box. Sometimes I miss them. If I do, please ask. I do check all the comments, so I'll get back to you. Um, and that's everything from me today. I would really love to know what your thoughts are on, on this, if you like it, if you don't. I mean, bear in mind, it's kind of messy, but I like the messiness of it. Do you know what I mean? It's, I, I think it's cool. Anyway, um, I always love to hear from you. So you can either message me on Instagram if you don't want to leave a public comment here or, or leave a comment here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.